When I was a kid, I actually attended Montessori school up to sixth grade in Atlanta, Georgia. And at the time, I didn't think much about it. But then later, I kind of realized that that was kind of the high point of my education. From that point on, everything else was pretty much downhill. Uh, and it wasn't until later as I started making games that I really actually think of them more as toys. People call me a game designer, but I really think of these things more as toys. But I started getting very interested in Marie Montessori and her methods and the kind of way she went about things and the way she saw it very valuable for kids to kind of discover things on their own rather than being taught these things just kind of overtly. And she would design these toys where kids, in playing with the toys, would actually come to understand these deep principles of life and nature through play. And since they discovered those things, it really stuck with them so much more. And also they would experience their own failures. There was a failure-based aspect to learning there that was very important. And so the games that I do, I think of really more as modern Montessori toys. And I really kind of want them to be presented in a way to where kids can kind of explore and discover their own principles.